I'm Paul. Christmas is a great time for sharing stories. I want to share this one with you today. It's called Babushka, traditional Russian tale at Christmas time. In the village, everybody was excited. Everybody was talking about the star. It was bigger than before, brighter than before, and coming closer all the time. Everybody was looking up into that sky and seeing that star shining bright. But that wasn't all. They'd heard about a great procession, an army heading the way to the village. There were camels, horses, donkeys, kings, and treasure too. Everybody was waiting for them to arrive, except for Babushka. She wasn't outside looking at the star. She wasn't outside talking to her neighbours. She was inside her house cleaning and polishing because that's what she did. She was very proud of her house. Everything had to be spotless and clean and perfect. So she cleaned every surface. Everything was shiny and bright. Not only that, she had an amazing garden too. And she was the best cook in the village. So there she was inside the house, cleaning and polishing and washing, as she always did. So she missed that shining bright star high in the sky. She missed the twinkling sounds of the procession coming closer. She missed the lights. She missed the wise men coming through the village. She missed the villagers talking and whispering excited, wondering what was going to happen next. She missed the footsteps coming down her path, but she didn't miss the knock on her door. Who's that, she says, at this time of night when I've got so much to do? So she opened up the door and there they were, the three kings and their servant too. And the servant said, we have heard, this is the best house in the village and you are a wonderful cook. We need to rest up during the day before we continue to follow the star on our travels. Can we come in and spend time here? I suppose, said Babushka, but the place is a, is a mess and I'm sure you'd want to go somewhere else. No, said the kings, we have heard, this is the best house in the village. So they came down. And they sat down round the table. And Babushka laved wonderful food on the table. Homemade breads and cakes and jams and pickles and pies. And the kings fed themselves. They said, this is a wonderful feast. Fit for any king. Babushka was wondered what they were doing. She said, have you come far? Yes, they said, we have come a long, long way. And where are you going? We don't know, but we have been told to follow that star in the sky and it will lead us to someone, a newborn king that will be the savior of the world. Why don't you come with us? <laughs> Nothing to do with, with kings. I, I'm, a, I'm a poor woman there. Look what you can see in this house. Well, you should bring a gift. You should come with us, said the kings. This food would be a wonderful gift. Ha! She said, that's no food for a baby. That's no food for a child. Well, what could you bring? Babushka was quiet for a minute and a tear came to her eye. I had my own young king many, many years ago. A boy child. But he passed away when he was very, very young. But I still keep his toys in my cupboard. Would that be a gift for the king? I think it would be a wonderful gift, said the kings. We've got our own gifts, gold, frankincense, myrrh, but toys would be perfect. Oh, she said, they're, they're messy and dirty and dusty now. They, they wouldn't be fit for anyone. Well, said the kings, 
We need to rest up now. Ugh. Before we continue on our journey. You think about it. Come with us and see something you've never seen before. So the kings went off to rest. Babushka went back to cleaning the house. It was great having the guests there, but all the mess, the plates, the chairs, the tables, the dust, the dirt, everything had to be cleaned and polished and perfect. And she worked on it all day long. Just before night time, when the star was rising up in the sky, the kings were ready to carry on on their journey. They said, Babushka, come on, join us. Come with us to meet this newborn king. <gasps> Babushka said, I can't leave my house like this. What a mess it is. It's dusty and dirty and <gasps> everything's all mixed up. I I'll tell you what to do. You carry on and I'll catch you up the next day. I've only got a little bit to do. Yeah, I I'll work hard. I'll get things neat and tidy and I'll catch, catch up with you and bring my gift of toys for the newborn king. So the kings went on, on their way, following that bright star in the sky. Babushka set to work. So much to do. The cleaning, the polishing, the dusting, everything had to be just perfect, just so. And she was feeling a bit tired, oh dear. And then she remembered the toys. So she went to the cupboard and brought out the box which contained the toys that she'd made many, many years ago. And they were dusty and dirty and stained. So she laid them out on the table and started to polish and clean them till they shine brightly, fit for any king. She was sad, but she thought this would be a great gift for the newborn king. By this time, night was over. Day was starting to dawn, and she knew she needed to set out to catch up with the kings. <gasps> she was feeling so tired. Ah, she had worked all night. She had worked hard. She needed to rest. I'll have a little nap, she says, for an hour or so, and then I'll start on the journey and find those kings and go on the journey with them. So she lay down on her bed closed her eyes and fell fast asleep. When she woke up, it was night time. <gasps> she slept right through the night. Dawn was breaking. Oh no, she said. <gasps> the kings will be resting somewhere. I'm sure I'll catch them. So she put on her clothes to keep her warm. She picked up the box of toys and started to walk through the village, looking for the three kings. And she walked and she walked and she walked, asking everywhere where she went. Have you seen the three kings? Yes, they said they were here the other night, following the star. You go on that way. And she followed the road and she followed the road and she went through villages and she went through towns. She went through cities. And everyone told her, that's the way you go. Follow the road and you will find the kings. But she couldn't catch them up. Her legs were aching. Her feet were sore. And the box of toys was heavy. But she would keep on going. By this time, she'd come to the city. She thought a king. Now, where would a king born? In a palace, of course. That's where you find kings. So she went to the palace and asked the guard in front, have the three kings been here? Is there a newborn king here in the city? Well, the guard said, well, I don't know about newborn kings, but there were three kings a, a couple of days ago. Ah, but they've gone on their way. Where have they gone? I think they said they went to Bethlehem. Yeah, Bethlehem, that's where you need to go. They said there would be a newborn king that would be the wonder of the world. So she picked up a box of toys, walked out of the city and followed the road to Bethlehem. By this time, she was so tired. And when she arrived in Bethlehem, she wasn't really impressed. It was a little old village, much like the one that she lived in herself. This isn't fit for a newborn king. What a strange place to be. But she looked around 
and saw the inn. And she went in and she asked the innkeeper if he'd see the three kings. He said, yes, I did. They were here two days ago, but they've gone now. Oh, I've been waiting. I've been hunting and journeying to find them. She said, was there a baby? Oh, yes, there was. There was a baby born in the stable. Where? Where's that? Where's that? Just behind here. I'll take you to it. So he took her across the road to the stable. And he said, this is where the kings came. And shepherds and angels too. But they've gone now. They've gone to Egypt, a place of safety. So Babushka sat down sadly in the straw. But she looked around and she could sense something special in the air. And a voice called out to her, Babushka! I'm afraid you are too late. The kings have gone back to their homes. And the baby, with his mother and father, well, they've gone somewhere safe because many dangers were threatening them. But Bushka said, I've missed them and I brought these gifts too. Well, said the voice, we know they were expecting you. They wanted you to come, but they had to go. Now you go on your journey. We know you have that baby in your heart, that king in your heart. So Babushka picked up her box of toys and went out on her journey. And it's said that she still journeys now for years and years and years looking for that newborn king, the Christ child. And it's said at Christmas time, if she knows there's a child or a baby and hears good deeds about them, she places one of her toys by the door outside where it can be found on Christmas Day. Because he might be there. It might be the special Christ child waiting just for me. So she carries on her journey. Is he there? Is he here? But she keeps that hope and that love for the future in her heart.